Welcome back, Next Generation. Happy Friday. We are here in Orlando, Florida, again in my driveway, hoping to get the class in before it starts raining again. Do you have your racket? Do you have your ball? I have my four objects. I added a towel because it is so humid out here today in Orlando, Florida. Where are you playing? Can you tell me? All right, what we're gonna do, you know the drill. Put our rackets down, we're gonna get moving right away. I'm gonna bring something back from class one since we all loved it. You know what it is, it's fire ants. So when I say go, I wanna see how quickly you move your feet, like we're fire ants. We're stomping on those fire ants. And then when I say tennis, you're showing me that ready position. Are you ready? Fire ants. Tennis, good. Fire ants. Tennis, if you smile, you do better. Fire ants. Tennis, let's go one more time, fire ants. Tennis. Now, I think we, class one, if I remember right, we also started to stand on one foot. I wanna see you do that. So if I say one foot, stand on one foot, you got it? Ready? Fire ants. One foot. Fire ants. Tennis. Fire ants. One foot. Tennis. One foot. Fire ants. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, Net Generation. Okay. I'm gonna pick two objects. I'm gonna go for a shoe and a bike helmet. So I'm gonna place them, let's say six feet apart. And I'm gonna hold my racket this time. So we did this last week. I'm gonna add another element. So last week we did the figure eight. This time when you hit the middle, split step. So figure eight, split step. Look, I'm in my ready position. Are you ready? Show me, we're going in three, two, one. Here we go. I like to call out split when I split in the middle. Split, split, split. Just 20 seconds, change your direction. So I just changed mine, split, split. I'm counting you down. You got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, Net Generation. All right, go to one of your objects now. Now, you can do speed skaters over, or you can do toe taps. You call it, count. Count how many times you hop back, or count how many times you tap. You ready? 30 seconds, go. I'm gonna go speed skaters for the first 15 seconds. Let's go, net generation. Class six, here we go. All right, I'm changing it. I'm going now to toe taps for the last 15. Are you counting? Maybe you're counting in Spanish. Anybody speak Russian out there? Tell me if you're counting in a different language. Three, two, one. Good job, all right. Move to your other object. I want you to take about mm, five or steps, five or six steps back. You're gonna split step, volley. Split step, volley. And what grip do we use? That's right, continental grip. So check it. Are you ready? Go, 30 seconds. Keep moving. I actually can't see my timer on this one. Thanks, Nick. So keep going, Net Generation. I think we probably have about 15 more seconds. Split. Good. I'm sweating. It's so humid here in Florida. Tell me if you're outside. Let's go 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give me that fist bump, Net Generation. All right, as I wipe my face and get the sweat off me and catch my breath, Mackie McDonald, tell us a little bit about sportsmanship. Thanks, Leo. Hey, Net Generation. For me, sportsmanship means being generous, fair, and respectful. I think that's something that players can show and also people off the court as parents, coaches, and, and staff. I think sportsmanship is something that needs to be instilled early in um, kids' lives. I feel it's something that's been really important for me in my development. You know, I've always 
been pretty fair and, and sportsmanlike, and I think that's helped me focus on what's important, which is playing my best tennis. Um, when you focus on good sportsmanship, you're, you're not worrying about excuses, uh, fair play, or behavioral issues, but you're focusing on the game and the, and the most important thing about getting better. So show good sportsmanship, um, be nice to your opponents um, and coaches and, and all the staff and everyone that puts on great tennis events and uh, show good sportsmanship in your next event. Back to you, Leah. Wow, thanks, Mackie. I sure needed that break, but you really had some great messages for our players, for our coaches, and our parents. Thank you so much. All right, Net Generation, we are adding something new to today's class. Let me throw this sportsmanship badge up on the screen for you. We're adding badges, that's right. So now when you participate, you get a badge. Sportsmanship is our first one, do you see it? Good job. All right, let's get moving again. Maybe you bounce on your feet while I explain this. I'm gonna pick up my ball. I'm gonna move my equipment off. I don't need a bike helmet right now. Okay, so like I said, we're all about counting today. You're breaking your record. We have three opportunities to practice ground strokes. Now you call the skill. Are you gonna do bungee traps? Are you gonna go off your wall? and do traps here, or are you gonna rally and keep it going? Remember, you call it. I'm gonna be much better with time today. I'm actually gonna set my watch or my phone with a timer. So no, I'm not texting anybody. Here we go, 30 seconds, you call it. Ready, get set, go. I'm gonna go rallies first. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, you can split step net generation. You have just over 10 seconds. Keep going, keep rallying. I love that some of you are doing traps. You got this. Let me see. Oh, we're almost there, net generation. Two, one. Good job. See, I'm much better today. So take your chalk or wherever you're writing and write. Round one, and how many you got? Let's say I got 12. Okay, round two, are we ready? Are you ready, Net Generation? I'm gonna go to traps this time, or the bungee traps. On your mark, get set, go. You worry about counting, I'll worry about the time. I think that's three, four, five, six. Maybe I'm gonna keep it going, seven. Eight, nine, ten. I love seeing so many different skills out there from rallying off the wall to trapping off the wall to even trapping on your racket. Any skill counts right now. You're working on ground strokes. We got this next generation. We're almost there. You're going to hear that timer. Get those last few in. Oh, the timer. All right. Round two. Write it. I don't know what I got. I was too busy talking. All right, hopefully your score went up. Now we got one more chance, round three. Are you ready? Get set, go. I'm gonna go back to hitting off the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ooh, 10. 11. Come on, next generation. You got it. Just 10 more seconds. I'm going to hear the buzzer. Keep going. Good footwork. That contact points out the front. No matter what skill you're doing, we're working on that contact point. You got it. That buzzer's coming in three. Oh, nice job. We got it. All right. So do you have your three scores? Again, I don't know what mine is, but what I want you to do is add up your total. So let's say I got 12 plus 12 is 24. And then let's say I got 10. My total would be 34. Can you do that for your score? All right, so tell, I'm wiping off all the sweat. Tell me what you got. Share it in your comments. Guess what? I think you deserve another badge. I'm gonna give you the count it badge because we're counting, we're trying to get our goals. 
All right, what other skills have we learned? Ground strokes, now we do the same thing with a volley. So I'm gonna set my timer. Remember what you can do, you can do a self volley forehand or a backhand. You can volley and catch it off the wall or you can go and rally. Okay, you call it. Let's keep that continental grip. Remember, it's like I'm riding a bike. Are you ready? Let me do it. I'm trying to be better for you, net generation. On your mark, get set, go. I'm gonna trap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoo, that sun is hot now. Come on, net generation, keep it going. Keep working on those volleys. It's okay to stop and check your grip. I actually love seeing that. I'm gonna join you again. One, ooh. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's time, that's round one. So, you know what to do. Do another one, round one. I'm gonna say I got 10. Is that okay with you, Net Generation? All right, here we go, round two, you pick it. I think I'm gonna do a self volley this time and not hit off my garage. What are you gonna do? Can you tell me? Ready, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if I can look at you and talk, Net Generation. Good, can you do it with me? Good, I see some of you are hitting off your wall. Keep that going. Again, I, of course I lost track. Keep it going, Net Generation. Again, remember that continental grip. You can choke up on your racket. I heard some of you like that tip. Keep using it. Build up that strength and then slowly move your grip down. I bet that timer's gonna set up. Oh, I'm getting pretty good at this mental timer in my head. All right, round two. I'm gonna stick to 10 right now. Round two, I got 10. All right, last round, here we go. 30 seconds for our volley. Are you ready, Net Generation? You know, I need a little bit of energy. Can you give me a high five? All right, here we go. Are you ready? Get set, go. I'm going off the wall. I may move again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoa, 10, 11, I'll start here. All right, I'm gonna choke up that generation. Are any of you choking up? Continental grip. Keep it going, I'm so proud of our team. You got this net generation. Last round for these volleys. You did it, all right. Let's meet me at the scoreboard. All right, round three. What should I say? Um, I'll say 12 this time. So 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 12 is 32. All right. So we're not gonna do a timer for this next round, but all I want us to do, we're just gonna work on our serve. Now remember, continental grip, we're gonna go up to that halo position like I'm brushing my hair, and then come over. Remember, knuckles over thumb. If you're close to your wall, start in your halo position, and then freeze at your contact. Take your time, let's go serve, return, trap, okay? If you wanna keep hitting, you can. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, let's do it. Just warming up our serve and return right now. I'm showing you different spots on purpose to show you, you can practice a serve no matter where you are. Even if you just go up and catch it, you're still working on your serve, okay? No court, no problem. I don't wanna hear any excuses that you can't do this, okay, Net Generation? Like Mackie said, we have to focus on how good of a player we can be. All right, freeze. Nice job, that was round one. We're not gonna do the scores for this one because I really want you to think about that grip. All right, so round two, again, maybe you add two hits. So maybe you go, I'm gonna start close. Maybe you go serve, 
return, hit, hit. Again, we're building the point. Just from last week, we're always building the point. Are you ready? Let's do it, we're gonna go now. So serve, return, hit, hit. I'm gonna move up, serve, return, hit, hit. You gotta work on your serve, okay? It's how you start the point. It's so important in tennis. One, two, three. Did any of you work on your serve before this class? You can tell me. All right, here we go, it's game time. So what I'm gonna do, th uh, we're gonna go, what do you wanna do? Let's go two minutes, okay? Two minutes, you're gonna see how many balls you can get in two minutes. You can call your shots. I'm gonna start with rallying, one, two. If I miss, I start from where I left off. So let's say I get 10 in a row, I'm gonna start at 11. Are you ready, next generation? Here we go, get set, go. We're gonna end at 50, that's more to me. I'm coaching myself. One, two, three, four. Again, counting out loud, you already got the count badge. You gotta keep going. I think that was eight, nine, 10, 11, 4, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Have fun with this net generation. Change up your skills, change up your positioning. One, oh, two, three, four, five. My garage isn't cooperating today. <laughs> it's probably the user error. Keep going, I think I'm around 25. It helps if you count out loud. I'm telling you, net generation. This is one of my favorite games because I like to see if I can break my record. Let me check our time. All right, we're just under one minute. We're actually just around 50 seconds. Okay, Net Generation, keep it going. Where are you, Net Generation? Let's go. Actually, I would love to know, how do you show sportsmanship? So there are so many great ways to do it. While you're hitting, maybe take a break if you need to catch your breath or wipe some sweat like I do, but how do you show sportsmanship? Is it high-fiving, handshakes? Is it respecting your opponent? Remember, respect was a word from a couple classes ago. Keep going, keep counting. We're just over 10 seconds. I'm going with you, Net Generation. I'm here with you. Keep going. You have five, four, three, two, one. Give me that fist bump, Net Generation. All right. What happened to my truck? Oh, here it is. Okay. Put down your total score. So let's say I got 50. And that was for the game called Count It. Uh-oh, my truck's running out. Count. All right, you know what time it is. It's free play. I have jump ropes. I have a paddle. Two minutes. You call it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't wait to see what you do. Catch your breath. I need my towel. We don't want suntan lotion in my eye today. Okay. Here we go. We're going to go in five, four, three, Two, one, free play. All right, I'm tired of this racket. I'm gonna actually bring both back. Don't throw your racket like I did. Okay, here we go, let's see if I can do it. Woo! Is anybody else, oh, using something other than a tennis racket? Tell me. Let's see, maybe I can do a little lobster trap. I love lobster trap. I think I've done this with some of you watching. Think about it. It works on our ready position, our pivot, and then our swing and follow through. So ready position, unit turn, trap. I love a lobster trap. Keep going. Uh, maybe I'm not gonna jump rope. Maybe I'm gonna use it to do this. Let's see. I'm gonna go over and back. 
and then I'm going to hit one, two, three. I'll do it again. Let's see if I can hit with my left hand. One, two, three. Let's check you out, next generation. Keep it going. Again, use whatever you have in your house. We have just under one minute, net generation. Keep going. Hmm, what else should I do? Let's see. I have my basketball again. You know I can't go too far without my basketball. All right, I'm gonna dribble with my left, hit with my right. Woo, it's a little bit harder with this paddle. All right, that was good. That was enough for me. Keep going, you've just under 20 seconds. Remember, whatever you wanna do here works. You got this, it's your house. You get to make up the rules to tennis. Maybe we'll even implement that in the future. Keep going. Oh, okay, the timer I think is off. So here we go, next generation. Let's end with free, let's be done with free play. I'm gonna time you one more time. I want you to see if you can beat your counted score. So I'm gonna set my timer. Let's go, we did it for two minutes, so let's go two minutes again. The rain's starting to come down here, but we're not gonna stop. Are you ready? Get set, go. Two minutes to beat your counted score. Let me clear my space. Keep going, remember, you're trying to beat it, so I would try to beat 50. Let's see if I can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, Net Generation, I'm gonna cheer you on, Net Generation. Keep it going. Remember, you're trying to beat that score that you got in the first round. No matter where you stop, add on to that score, okay? Keep it going. You got it, Net Generation. Work hard. Remember, only control, only work on what you can control. Remember, if you work hard, good things are gonna happen. Come on. Let me check your time. I bet you're just at a minute or so. I'm getting pretty good at this timing thing. You have one minute, all right? I think we have about three minutes until the rain starts. So come on, next generation. Remember, change up your shots. You just want to have some fun while you're working on all these great tennis activities. Come on, next generation, we got it. I'm gonna throw in some slice. You know what, that reminds me. Before you leave our class, you keep counting, but listen, I wanna know what you want to work on in these coming classes. Put it into the comments. I think next week we're gonna work on some topspin. All right, Net Generation, keep it going. Just over 15 seconds, okay? We got this. I'm gonna count you down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There it is. <laughs> All right, Net Generation, add your score. You know, I'm gonna say I just got another 50 again. My chalk, send chalk, please, Net Generation. Okay, so that's 100. That's how much chalk I have left, okay? All right, tell me your scores. Throw that into the comment box. No matter what score you got, Net Generation, I'm so proud of you. You work so hard. I wanna offer you another badge. Are you ready? I'm so excited about this badge. It's the Net Gen Live badge, okay? So our team will tell you where you can print these badges out. I wanna take this time again to applaud you on these last few minutes together. You worked hard. It's about to rain here, but let's just do a quick recap. All right, we heard about sportsmanship from USA player Mackie McDonald. We really did a review of all the skills we have learned. So ground strokes, volleys, that continental grip, the serve and the return. And we set goals for ourselves. So would love to hear what kind of goals you set for yourself. If it's in the classroom, on the tennis court, in your driveway, I set goals for myself all the time. Share that, enjoy your weekend. I'll see you next week. Tell me what you want to do. Honestly, Net Generation, tell me what you want to do. Let's put our hands in the middle. 
on three. One, two, three. Net generation. The rain's coming. I'll see you next week.